Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back, welcome back to the crypt. I am your host Raven, and or not that one. That's cool. Happy Memorial Day, folks. Happy Memorial Day, or Memorial Night, Memorial Evening, wherever you are. But how, how is everybody? I just figured I'd come on because why not, right? And, you know, say thank you uh, to everybody who's been subbing and everybody who has been giving out cash apps, especially the past month, because I was able to procure a grill today. And for real, I haven't tried a grill in like 20 years. You know, YouTube can actually be a good tool sometimes, you know, folks, it really can. And I was able to actually grill. It was freaking amazing. I'm like, oh, wow. So for, for real, thank you. Thank you guys for helping out a family like that. That is so awesome of you. And you know what? I was able to do that and get a decent grill, not a crappy one. So, you know, I feel a lot more confident. I, I guess I was, I was probably just too young for real, just too young at the time to try to grill for real but um it worked out a lot better now i guess it's just like life time and patience man time and patience folks now um if anybody wants to ever come back in you know daddy draven always gonna let you back in you know i don't hold any grudges i don't you know i get it we all have bad takes folks we all have bad takes. We all go, hey, maybe this guy's funny. I don't know. I like these other channels, and they say that they're cowish. Oh, those channels are cowish. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, some people are not for everybody. I think people are getting that. And that's fine. But, uh, yes, I will always let people come back. Like I said, it has nothing to do with me. You know, be cool to my chat. You, you know, you want to talk shit about me? Whatever. I'll self-deprecate all day. Just be cool to my chat. I, I love my viewers. I love my community. But here, let's get into this, guys. Let's see who is here. Hey, what's up, uh, Quantum? Words, 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 yes. Hey, Moon Buddy. Hey, Jen. Happy, uh, happy, happy. Memorial weekend, whatever you want to call it. Me, I, I'm I'm friggin' exhausted. I went I went to a Walmart to get a grill and then they were out of grills, so I had to go to like Home Depot. Hey Lisa, and then get a, de a decent one. Hey Julie's mom. And then after that I had to come home and put the damn thing together before I even started cooking. But then it all it all worked out. Hey Jerry, what's up? Jen? Live chat reminder. Yes, thank you. You know, I know there's a thing to change it, but I don't know. Hey, Judith, check. Seems a little uh, complicated. All right, so let's 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 watch let's watch Shannon here. So I figure we can watch the eviction saga. If you guys want to talk to me about if you were grilling as well this weekend, you know, it's whatever's. But guys, thank you for being here. Please like and subscribe. And here we go. Guys, I just got this eviction notice that we got to be kicked out here in the weekend and we're losing our fucking car and everything all at once. I need fucking help. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm fucking panicking. I'm trying to... Yo, I wonder, I wonder how, uh, I wonder how Shani's Memorial Weekend is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure she's having the time of her life, you know? She don't have kids anymore. She can do whatever she wants. She can spread her, her big wings. Oh, again, my fucking phone. It's, they sent me a fucking shitty fucking phone and it's gone. I need fucking help. Someone help me. <laughs> I work my ass off. Yeah, right. Trying to do as much as I can. And I sent fucking Krista the $50 back by master. fucking accident. <laughs> uh, I need nothing genius. much. Just, like I said, I'm exhausted. You know, all that. I, I, I guess if I didn't have to put the damn thing together first and that's and that's freaking complicated if anyone had to put together a kettle girl before but eventually i got it i think 
I don't know. Like, who cares if you can't roll it? <laughs> it's like I th it's either I put the handle on the wrong side or I put the legs on the small legs that are holding up to the wheels on the wrong side. Something. But you know what? I can drag it. Can't walk, drag okay. it. Okay, so can someone up, severely Kelly? get me hold of G-Man? Because I need him. I need someone. Someone in my life. What? Because I, I just don't know what to do. Yo, I, I don't know who that rapper person uh, is. I, I, I don't understand how, how Shani can bring out the worst in some people. You know? You know, like the paranoia is real, folks. The paranoia is real. And I just don't understand, you know. But like I keep telling everyone, like I, I tell you guys all the time, I just want to have a fun stream. I want to have laughs oh. with the people I love. 800 bucks. I spent 100. Steve Man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Definitely not. Kelly <laughs> Beck donated $5 through bucks. Super Chat. Steve Man gave oh, me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Oh, it is, Jen? Oh, well, happy early birthday. Thank you. Uh, let me get that. Thank you, definitely not Kelly, for the five bucks. Oh, I love this episode. I know it's like freaking. This is the new reality TV. But thank you for the five. I do appreciate it. Put that five back into the uh, the money I spent today on a on a grill. I kind of went nuts, but you know, you only live once, right, folks? You only live once. You know, I say we just pack up the car, what we can, and we just head out to Pennsylvania. There's nothing else we can fucking do. We got no fucking money. We got fucking nothing. We just sell all this fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, that that didn't happen. They ain't sell. They, they only sold the Jesus light that smelled. But we got to get out of this house by this weekend. Okay. By this weekend. And what? What is it? What day is it? It's Thursday. It says you will be evicted anytime. No. No. It no. says please move this weekend and yeah. Turner. That is it says to, to Jason you. All, Egroff, and all other persons reside and occupied and staying in premises. And, and by the way, guys, this is what makes somebody a cow. TMI. You know, TMI, this is way, way too much information that people that don't like them deserve to know. I mean, I'm grateful for it, but, you know, <laughs> you got to respect the hustle, but at the same time, realize this is what makes the person a cow. The Jefferson County office is ordering by Jefferson County Court to enforce a writ of restitution eviction for these premises. This means you must move out immediately. And if you do not vacate, the sheriff's office is required by the court to enter and remove all your possessions. Please be aware that the sheriff's office has no legal responsibility to pack your items and removal. So I need fucking help. The sheriff is not going to pack my stuff? Oh, my God. I, I need help. <laughs> no, the sheriff ain't going to pack your shit. They'll throw your shit away, but they ain't going to pack it. It's something quick. Put me on it. Just shoot me for one second. Here, you hold it. I'm fucking panicking. Okay? I'm fucking panicking! This is proof. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is proof that you got way too much money way too fast. This is proof that your mom did not prepare you for life, dude. This is proof that uh, you, you didn't have a good financial advisor. I mean, ultimately, it was your decision. But this is what happens, folks, when you let Shani be in control of your finances. Just saying. 700 grand. Can you imagine? With 700 grand, I'd, fuck, man. <laughs> I, I would never, I wouldn't even be able to spend that in the amount of time that they did. And the fact that Shani had, you know, getting donations on the side and getting food stamps this whole time for her and her kids, because spoiler alert, that's why they never got married. With all that, they still burned through all that shit. This is proof right here. Okay. 
that the Democratic Party has done nothing to help anyone. The government has done nothing to help anyone. I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. There was some... I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. Ah. <laughs> I spent all this I'm so money sorry, for this folks. shit that we don't need. The fucking, the the fucking cable. The fucking electricity. I paid all that money and we don't even, we, we can't even use it. Yo, if you look real close, it almost looks like Mr. Magoo. <laughs> what the hell? I knew this coming for a week. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yo, Ursula's had it back a couple of years. This just showed up on my door. I didn't even go to court. No, it wasn't. You don't have to go to court if you're not paying your friggin' bills for over six months. You see, guys... She thought that she could use the uh, the relief fund or whatever. I mean, I didn't. But at, at, the, at the time when you didn't have to pay your rent for a couple of months, she figured she was all good. Like, no, you don't trust anything that the, the government's going to give you for free, especially them. <laughs> I didn't even go to fucking court. There was no court. They just did it. They were supposed to. They were supposed to go through the eviction process, and they didn't. That is the eviction process. That means getting you the fuck out. And Azrael says, well, that she lies here and claims that they never received the prior warning, even though an earlier stream had her hold up an eviction warning paper. Yeah, that was another paper. And that's why she was like, but they didn't do the court process. The, 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 the process is they want you out. I think Shaney thought that she was going to, you know, try to do squatters rights and that didn't work out so well. I need G man. Someone get a hold of G man now. <laughs> hey, <Bill. laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Our sons don't need to see that. <laughs> Can you imagine? I like, her walking around like that. No wonder, no wonder G Man would always say, I smell fungus feet. Yeah, dude, that ain't fungus feet. That's just that's just nasty ass that hasn't been washed. I mean, allegedly, you know, got gotta do it, control the YouTube and the algorithms. Alleged. But even though he said that they definitely stunk like they haven't washed in like months. <sighs> that's that's funny. That's funny right now. It doesn't. It's funny. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. It's funny. <laughs> yes. It's don't funny that the laugh. family's gonna be on the street, dude. It's funny, right? It's funny that I don't have my fucking friend to talk to. <laughs> hey, how's that friend going? <laughs> how's that friendship working out these days? Guys, happy uh, happy Memorial Weekend, though. No, thank you for hanging it out. It says that we can the, it, the the cops will come in and remove our shit. It says you will be evicted at any time. Hey, Lori, what's up? But the cops says be out. Oh yeah, you gotta love the fake. But on the top it says please move this weekend. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> ignore this. They want you to read this. Get out by the end of the weekend. By the ignore end of the this. Weekend, we have to be out. It's Thursday, we can do it, okay? We'll do it. Where are we going? We will pack what we can and we'll go to PA. Fuck it. We'll go back. So right, right there, right there is all anyone needs to know that when he said, oh, people are following us around, doxing us. He said right there that they were going to go to PA. The whole time they filmed them driving to PA. And the whole time, a lot of the time, you, we got to see through Rev's... Um, uh, his GPS. So yeah, it wasn't hard to to figure that out. I mean, we, we have eyes. PA. Well, most of us do. Let's sell this shit. Try to anyway. What? What? We can't pack all this stuff, dude. No, we won't. We'll. <laughs> this is the greatest part here. You know, Shani actually comes up with a with with an interesting idea. And again, if she would have just done it maybe a month before, started to slowly sell the stuff because they had stuff that was worth money. I mean, come on. they When they were spending the money, they were buying stuff clearly that was very expensive. Those Magic the Gathering cards, those original consoles, 
you know, like this is Sega Genesis and the Nintendo and the Dreamcast. And they, they, like Rev had all of them and all the games, quite a bit of money. And there are some collectors out there that could have, you know, sanitized that stuff really good. <laughs> Hopefully. Believe most of it. So we can sell it. If ten dollars, you got ten dollars here. <laughs> we'll just get out, dude. We got until Sunday. We got until the end of Sunday. Shanny, could you listen to your husband and he can give you some peace? Oh, oh, you mean Chris, <laughs> your husband, man. I wonder, like, when the when the camera's not rolling, if they still use that fake narrative that they're that they're married. Like, is that just like a mental illness for the camera, or is that a mental illness for them as well? And don't read. I'm so excited you're getting. Shanny, listen to your husband, and don't look at the hate. Shanny, look at me. It's Thursday. Shanny, look at me. I need something to call me. You know what? I miss Rev wearing these cowboy hats. We don't have any more Rev wearing cowboy hats anymore. <laughs> Man, Rev, how far you went from wearing cowboy hats to like eating jars of, of peanut butter because you're starving. He's starving, folks. I'm about to have a fucking heart attack. I know that. Listen to me, okay? Listen. To me. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. You have to listen to me. What? We, it's Thursday. We have until Sunday to be out. We can do this. Okay? I can only bring my computers. That's yes. fine. That's fine. We'll leave everything. Fuck it. Okay? It's okay. Why? We're going to be okay. <laughs> I still don't understand why they could not, couldn't have gotten something. Rev could have asked his uncle, hey, can I borrow some money to get a moving crew or rent a truck? Anything. He could have rented a U-Haul and Shani could have followed in a Durango. Perfectly normal. People do it every day. I mean, or even better, he could have drove the Durango and he could have hauled something with like a, because I think there's a, a hitch on that damn thing. There are so many things they could have done to take more than they took. A majority of their stuff was left. And by someone who's moved recently, let me tell you, it, it does take multiple, multiple trips. You're like, man, where's all this stuff? I don't even want it. <laughs> you know, I, I've been there. And a lot of stuff go, does go in the garbage. But they, they left, it seems like they left everything behind. And like good stuff, too. I mean, she could have like done like a marketplace and say, hey, uh, curbside, you know, anyone want anything on the curb? Five bucks. Yeah, anything is better than nothing, but you know, like Shani ain't a hustler. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> we are. <sighs> we have till Sunday. The end of Sunday. It's Thursday. Think about the time. Where you gotta call your <laughs> uncle. You gotta get. Yeah, that's true. I guess with a U haul. <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> Red Dragon. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, Shane just got out of my Durango and picked up the U haul. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that would have been great. I can't hold the people. <laughs> Just chill, okay, baby? I got this eviction notice. I'm supposed to be out by the weekend. We didn't even... Can Shady drive? Oh, yeah. Shady can drive. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. You know what? Let me see if I can find you a little video of her in the car. And go through the fucking eviction process. We didn't even go to fucking court. No, they, they just said he didn't pay the thousand, and that's it. Right. Yeah. That that wasn't the way it was supposed to be. That wasn't supposed to be. But it is. So we'll just get out by Sunday. We can do it. Am I okay? No, I'm not fucking okay. Everyone thinks this is funny too. Well, I'm keeping this because they're going to call us liars. So I'm going to keep this paper. No, yeah. I didn't know we were being kicked out. Oh, God, who cares? I, you know, I would think uh, better pressing manners. But remember, guys, the only reason why she ever made this video was to get money. She wanted people to feel sorry for her. She wanted people to, get, to give her money. Oh, my God, you're getting kicked out. Oh, wow, how could they do this to a good Christian mother with kids? Oh, my God, warts. Oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> That's what she wanted. 
You know, it's 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 crazy how these cows think. It's always kiss my ass, kiss my ass. Am I like the? I feel like sometimes like I'm like, am I like the only one that's like not kiss my ass? Like, you know, it's so weird. Like I could be like, oh, someone doesn't like me. Okay, difference of opinion. But they do it. Oh man, how can you have a different opinion than me? Oh my god, I'm gonna send my fuel after you. <laughs> like you know, it's it's fucking crazy. But you know, that's cows be cows, folks. They didn't even tell us. They didn't even tell us. They didn't even leave it in an email or anything. You Fuck them. Got to chill out, Channy. Channy, you gotta chill though. Holy shit. Oh my God, she's going, oh my God. She's going over to the office, guys. Oh my God. Oh, they are not going to like what they see. But this is totally justified from Shani. Do you want to know why? Because the agreement was that if I defaulted on payments, which I have, they would have to go through the eviction process. For <laughs> I love that. If I defaulted on payments, which I have. Oh. <laughs> Dude, why don't you pay your fucking payments, you scumbag? So you fail as a boyfriend. You fail as a step parent. You just fail, bro. You, you, you just fail. Batman what? Batman who? Dude, you're more like, you're, you're more, you're more like, uh, what? Uh, Jason Todd. Formally going through the courts again. They didn't even do that. They posted a red thing saying the sheriff says you got to be out by Sunday. No, no, no. That is not the agreement at all. <laughs> you just said the agreement was you, your uh, lazy ass pay money and you didn't. That was the uh, agreement. And you didn't fulfill your agreement for six months. So $3,000, six months, you know, you guys do the math, but... Uh, and apparently they never paid it off. I don't understand. So what is Rev's credit just like screwed to shit now? Is that what happens when you don't pay six months rent? I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't know. Like, I guess they were renting this place. I mean, I don't think there was no mortgage involved. But I'm guessing that Rev's credit is really bad right now. Not as I understood it. Not as I understood it, it's not an immediate eviction if I defaulted on the $1,000 payments. That's not true. It's just not true. So this is to scare the shit out of us, I think, from, from the place that we're getting this townhouse from. The company is sick of not being paid. And I say to the company that, that is involved right, that man, I want to pay you, okay? I want to pay you the justified rent that you deserve. Here comes Shani back again. <laughs> Here comes Shani back again, back again. Yeah. Moon Buddy says it was a rental, and yes, Shani obliterated his credit. She did. You think about it. Like, I don't know how this guy could be so calm when everyone's like, dude, this, she did this to you. She made you, you know, gaslighting and all that, made you lose all your money. You know, get you involved with um, her own kids. Like, I don't understand how he doesn't understand that if he never met Shani, he still would have been living where he was living. He still would have all his money. He'd just be drinking. And you know what? Shit, I'll take that over Shani any day. Sign me up. My honey. That's right. What? I forgot the fucking mask. I forgot the mess. I forgot. <laughs> and you know what? I don't know how any mandated reporter or CPS worker could have watched this video, this video, and said, oh, yeah, you can still have your kids. I'm surprised that, as, you know, the C I mean, CPS did go there as soon as they did go to PA, but I'm surprised that they didn't keep the kids then. Because, the, you know, I, I understand it's stressful, but they put themselves in this stressful situation for non-payment of rent. Rev could have paid. But no, he had a cameo, Trisha Paytas, and he had to buy uh, weed and stuff. You know, paying rent wasn't Rev's top priority. And that is, that is nobody's fault but their own. But anyway, I can, I can understand stresses, but when Shani gets a stress... 
gets stressed out from something that is her own mistake, she, you know, she's ready to end it all. To me, how can you how can you think that someone like that should be involved around uh, taking care of kids? Now, I've always said, you know, Shani, you know, she neglected them and possibly put her hands on them. But that's as far as I think it has ever gone with them. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't agree with some of these nasty rumors I've been hearing. But I'll just leave it at that. I think she neglected them. Well, I know she neglected them, and you know she attacked them the way she attacked Rev, and that's as far as it goes, in my opinion. I can't breathe. Yeah, I want. I I want. I was trying. I. I can't do this. I can't even fucking work. Yeah. I don't want to die. Yeah, I'm not yeah, the one yeah. freaking out, guys. I want to die. Yeah, well, that's why you're in this position. You should have been freaking out. I would have been like, oh my god, you just ruined my life. You just ruined my credit. I have nothing. I have no money. What the hell? He didn't do that. I mean, really, if I was Rev, I would have been super pissed off this whole, whole time. You know, he had a stew in this for a year in, in, uh, in PA. Thinking, where did all my stuff go? Where did all my money go? It's just like, you would have thought, but, you know, you... And you know, probably deep down, he knows. He knows what she did. He's just afraid of her. I'm not going to freak out. I know we have until Sunday to get out of here. Huh? I ain't freaking out at all. I worked my ass off for nothing. I worked my ass off for nothing. Were you going to make $20,000 to pay these people? No. Working. There was you, you can't afford twenty thousand dollars in back rent. This was gonna happen. You need to calm down. <laughs> Look at his face. Like Red, do you realize who you're dating? Do you realize who you've been with? You need to calm down, dude. Anything is internet cloud. You know when her mom, when she was alive, and she told you to your face that any drama is good drama to her. Well, now you know. <laughs> He he found out the hard way, folks. And oh my, I'm so glad he took off that that nose ring. I'm just you know, red with a nose ring just uh, ain't my cup of tea. Now we know the deadline to be out. It's Sunday. I can't breathe. Just sell shit. Sell <laughs> shit. You got ten dollars. They give you only a few fucking days. And they don't even tell you. They didn't even leave us an email or anything. That's what I'm saying. This is not right. They have not gone by the book. No, they did it. Uh. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, I was trying. Up. We gave all our cinnamons and stimulus money away to them for rent. Yeah, we did. Ew. We were shit. giving away our stimulus money for yes. red. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Anytime anytime the kids would come on screen, people would say, like, hey, they, they look kind of skinny. So did Red. The only person that was eating good ever was Shanny. Make no mistake about that. That's why that it was like always that joke. I'm starving, folks. It was it wasn't a joke. It wasn't a joke. Everybody was skinny in that family except for her. Would you stop it? This doesn't do anything. Uh oh. You just have to get out. We didn't get no red letter. We didn't get any of that stuff. <laughs> we just did. <laughs> this is what they gave us. This is what they gave us for eviction. That's all. You know, Rev needs to Rev needs to watch out. You know, because he's only two slaps away. He's always about two slaps away. Shani likes Rev at an arm's length so she can hit him. Oh, no Elijah. court or anything. Nothing. Which is which is telling me this is to scare the shit out of you. 
Yeah, I think we should sell our PS5 for money. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> the, the motel that was like 30 bucks a night. <laughs> the, the owner st took it from them because they didn't pay that friggin' bill. I mean, like, really? Oh. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? That, like, you know, like, I get it. $3,000 a month is quite a bit for rent. But you can't pay 30 bucks a night? Damn, those are hot times. Shit. Like, we, we are out of here. <sighs> okay? It's not performance art, asshole. You're looking at these Do I look like I'm doing performance art? I'm red in my face. I'm crying. I'm snotting everywhere. I get what I deserve. I deserve to be homeless. You didn't pay your rent. Yeah. You you uh, wasted a lot of money on frivolous things. Yeah. You paid creators to attack other creators. Uh, yeah. You know, you try to be Queen YouTube. And I don't know if you guys don't know. Queen YouTube just don't work out with anybody. <laughs> Spoiler alert. But, you know, there is no amount money that you can pay people because eventually when things get bored boring they come back to you no matter how much you pay no matter what you do and it's always a bad look when you have to pay people to attack people Oh, yeah, you probably remember that. <laughs> <laughs> she was the B word. I deserve this as karma after all the hate I put out on people. I don't put hate out on anyone. They do it to me. What are you talking about? I put hate on people. Hey, Shamu. What's up? I tell people to do good. better. Oh, man. You know, I think what, what really ticks me off the most is opportunities. You know, I've met a lot of cool people in life that if they would have had a little bit of the 700 grand, they could have really fixed their life out or maybe a decent place, you know, to raise their family and it would have been okay. And, but no, it didn't work out like that because that's just life. That's just reality. And, you know, consequences, you know, ensue to the fact that she doesn't even see that she had all this given to her and acted like, yeah, see, I'm this big, bad person now. You can't do this. You can't do that because I got all this money and Rev's a millionaire and I don't have to do anything. I never have to work again. And everyone's a peasant. And no, <laughs> you know, reality hit her right in the warts. <sighs> <laughs> I tried. I was working so hard. Where? I worked so hard for nothing. She worked at that no name job. But yeah, she actually thought, you know, doing YouTube was a was a career choice. And I, I don't know, guys, it's, you know, there's never, there never would have been enough money to pay. If she didn't have Rev's money, she would never have made enough to pay that rent, pay her electric, food, all that. It would have been impossible. She would have had to, she would have had to make at least four grand a month to pay for everything. How? Not possible. She barely had a thousand. I think she was at, at maybe over, slightly over a thousand. I mean, she's barely been over a thousand ever since because as soon as she tries to get monetized, her channel gets reported. 
Yeah, we could go back east and I can switch my stuff, I guess, the electronics to fucking Pennsylvania, I guess. I know we should sell what we can't, what we can't fit in the vehicle. I'm trying to tell him that so we have extra money. Hey, Kathleen, Move back I to know. Scranton, that's what we're gonna do. We have no choice but to move back to Scranton. I, I know, and for people who don't know, so it was told to me and a couple others that there was a deadline to, uh, to move out. Um, you know, apparently people have reached out to Rev's uncle, and from what I hear from G-Man and others, Rev's uncle didn't like that. You know, he didn't like that one bit. <laughs> he wanted to help out his sister's, you know, son, but he didn't want all this. And I, I think the guy didn't realize the amount of hate they got from all these videos, and apparently there was videos sent to him, and there was a lot of things sent to the uncle. So I'm sure he was really, really angry. And whether they're, whether or not that they're going to be there for long, I'm sure Rev's uncle probably told them enough. Enough with these stupid videos. Enough. You got your channel taken down? Good. Good. <laughs> you know, take some time, reflect on your lives, and get out of my fucking house uh, June 1st. <laughs> and then that's what we did. We said, finally. <laughs> yeah, isn't that on a sign somewhere? Get <laughs> the stream, folks. Thanks for hanging out. Shut up. We were being responsible parents. What happens when the money dries up and you can't get a job? What happens when the money dries up and you can't get a job? Nah, you go outside and deliver newspapers because they'll let anyone deliver newspapers. <laughs> you know, again, I, I don't think Shani's ever been an actual like addict addict. You know, I mean, if this was 10 years ago, I, I could have said she could have done a, a Home Depot. And if you guys don't know what that is, oh, I need to save that for a whole nother stream. <laughs> she could have done a lot of things. Let's just say to make money. She could have told Rev to go outside and be like, don't come back until you got make mommy some money. <laughs> Sell your ass, Rev. <laughs> I don't refuse to get a job. Oh, really? You know what? I need to look at that. I didn't look set a bed there. doing nothing. I was helping myself. You guys know nothing about my life. You just see me online. Am I in bed now? I got what I earned. I didn't earn any of this. I didn't earn any of this. You're getting to a place where you could start earning and you are no, already. I He's am. Lying. I need to get a phone that fucking works, though. Yeah, Xfinity is pathetic. That's the worst company I've ever seen. I am being evicted. Yes, I have. They just gave me the sign that we have just the weekend to get the fuck out of the house. Sunday. They just gave us the fucking weekend. Nah. All right, hold on. Let's get back to it. Oh, let's, let's take a break from this and go house hunting. Yes, let's go house hunting. Oh, well, what's this place? Oh, well, oh, wellsy, wellsy, wellsy. It's like somebody said something and nobody uh, believed it. Hmm. Interesting. Right, folks? Very, very interesting. So... 188,000, not with that smell you won't, not with that smell you won't. I love their, I don't know, it always looks like the Mother Mary standing in front of a toilet seat. <laughs> I hate these things. Fucking tacky <laughs> garden gnome shit. <laughs> and I'm religious, but you know. Ugh. Hey, I know that car. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't want to get in trouble, but shit, man, they put that up. They they put that up. That's fair game. 
you know, may, maybe I'm into looking for a house. Oh no, that's the, uh, that's, that is Rev's mother's house is the Smurf blue one. So Rev's mother's house is the Smurf blue one. Rev's uncle's house is the peepee yellow one. So remember, peepee yellow, the uncle, Smurf blue, um, his mom slash now G-mans because reasons. Not performance art. Why would this be oh, performance yeah. art? Yeah, it was told to me. It was told to me like a while ago, like they were out. And like, well, they weren't like, well, yeah, they were. They, you know, we had, there was a, a difference of places, but they, I was not wrong in that video. They are out. They were out of that house because one big thing people need to understand they needed to be out so they could clean up. They're disgusting. You think you think that they could just like turn around? All right, let's let's sell the house. Yeah, probably had to steam clean that whole place to get the shanty smell out. <laughs> like for real. Like I am not kidding. Like they had to clean that place. So and that does that takes time. You know, you got to get people in there. You got to paint. You got to do all that shit. And remember this: they're smokers. Shani smokes cigarettes, Rev smokes cigarettes, Delta 8, that stains the, the walls. You know, it's they had to clean up. So I was correct in saying that they were gone. They were gone. They just, people thought that it was in, I don't know, in a different place. I, I'm not sure. But they, they have been gone from that house, I would say, ever since I made that video. It's just they needed to have someone come in and clean it. weed or toys what toys did i buy idiot uh two switches a ps5 ps4 shut up three tvs four laptops and a partridge in a pear tree i don't know you bought a lot of dumb shit I didn't make any poor choices at all. <sighs> yeah, and we had a deal with the fucking company and we were doing that deal, but the deal falls through when you have no money. Oh my God, then you call- I'm not in Minnesota. Then you tell them, hey, I can't pay. Is there something we can work out? You make a new deal. That's what being a parent is. That's what being a parent is all about. You can't pay? All right, you can make a new deal. You can give them some of your crap that you had. I'm sure there's something you could have done. I don't, I didn't even, I, and I'm sure because of what happened with the re money relief that they let them go six months without paying rent. Because normally, what is it, like 30 days? And, you know, you're getting notices 60 days or something. I don't know. I've never been late before. <laughs> I think one time I was like a couple of days and I was like freaking out. Like, oh, my God, I'm $20 short. But like, I, you know, it's, I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's, it's about, it's adulting. I think Shannon was so comfortable with, you know, Rev paying for any, for everything. Once there, once Rev's like, I don't know what to do. She was like, oh, shit, I'm screwed. I need G-Man to pay for this. I'm in Colorado. Yeah, I know it was a bad decision with the 3K a month, but we had no choice at the time. You did. We got kicked out because of the assholes on the internet. No, it wasn't a bad choice. We just took it because we could afford it. Ah, look at her. Look at her. Yo, you see her face? He says, that's not true. We just couldn't afford it. Yo, look at her. 
<laughs> Yo, you don't speak against the Shanny. She's like the she's like the mom. It was a bad choice. Let's sell all this stuff, Jason. See, as soon as she gets mad, as she knows she can't get sloppy with Rev, she's like, let's let's sell your crap. You know, like this WWF belt that you're gonna give G Man this radio. Let's sell it. It's crap. We gotta get our shit done. <sighs> Whoever gave me that $7, thank you. Let me see who did that. I can't see it, but thank you. And folks, let me just say, if if you are on bad times, that's fine. I mean, not that it's fine, but we all go through it. If you want to ask people, hey, you guys support me. Can you help me out here? Even that's fine. You want to make a GoFundMe because you see that people are, you know, that's are successful with it. That's fine. But when you continuously attack people and then go to the same people and then say, we have two days to get out of my house. We need money, blah, blah, blah. What do you expect? That is not fine because the same people you don't like is the same people you're trying to get money from. Hey, Lemon Carolyn, what's up? You celebrate one month of membership. Thank you for sticking around for over a month. I appreciate you. Uh, it's yes. needed. Everything is needed right now. Especially a bra. <laughs> I didn't oh. get evicted because I beat up my husband, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I got evicted because you guys kept calling saying that you were hearing noise complaints. Yeah, this noise. giving noise complaints to my fucking landlords because you're assholes. Yeah, no, noise complaints. Noise complaints. Dude, yo, you got the cops sent there. You, what? Noise complaint. Oh, you mean the police sirens? <laughs> I can't believe guys, thanks for hanging out. Please like. I need help. I don't know. You're not helping. It fucking helps me when I'm in stress. It's like, let's do it. I'm Shannon, do it fucking all. <laughs> I'm a psychopath. I'm telling you, we need to sell things. And instead, you're just sitting there. Oh, thank you. Uh... What do you think we should do, Jason? What is your plan? Oh, uh, Loving and Karen, thank you for giving out five memberships. That is awesome. Guys, please give Loving and Karen some green hearts in the chat. That is our thing around here, in case you're new and you didn't know that. So, yeah, uh, congrats to Jen, Penelope, Birdie, and I don't know, uh, I think April. Yeah, guys, congrats. And thank you so much, Loving and Karen. I do appreciate the uh, support. That's your plan, is I don't give a shit what we do. No. You're telling me I was going to be the one freaking out. Fucking... Yeah, well, we're losing everything. And we need to do stuff right now and pack. We have time to get shit together and leave. Just chill. Can we just sell some stuff so I'm we can... I'm selling this immediately. What's that? That's a VR headset. Hey, VR headset. Yeah, uh, at that time, 500. Especially if it was a decent one. I mean, I'm just saying. Even now, those things are still up there, you know, pre pretty pricey. They could have sold. They could have sold some stuff. Definitely, for sure. People were, I was in this chat, folks. People were like, 50 bucks for this, $100 for that. They did not want to mail anything out. They could have made some stuff or even saying hey if anybody's in the colorado area and you want to buy something you have until tonight to come not even if they didn't want to bring them to the uh you know to to their condo it was a gated condo they could have brought it to like a gazebo and have rev give them the money and it could have been done with anything's better than nothing folks i mean that's what we did some of the stuff that we had to throw away in our old house, we we went on to 
we went online and we were like, hey, anyone, stuff's outside. Come get it. Let's take it, whatever. You know, take it for free. Because I think that that's what you do. This way, you know, there doesn't have to be a bunch of trash outside your old place, you know? Whatever. My life's officially fucking over. Mom. What? Look, things are going to be okay. How are things going to be okay, William? Wow. You know things are bad right now. Things and you, you see, once again, here is the children trying to calm her down. The children being the voice of reason. And like I always say, I hope those kids are doing okay. I hope they understand that this was a very, very toxic, bad re uh, situation, relationship, whatever you want to call it, family dynamic. And, you know, like no one's perfect here. Like, you know, there's uh, toxic families all over, a lot worse than others, of course. But I don't know. I don't know if he ever looks back at any of these old videos and go, man, I was pretty adult here. A lot more adult than my friggin' mother. This can get better. We have a lot of stuff. We can sell that and make some money. Even he's, even the older, even, even, even her son's like, we could sell this stuff, stupid. Let's sell it. We could make money and have money. Father of it. He doesn't want to do shit. <laughs> yes they will buy it they i was in the chat they were offering him my they're like yo just just give it like, the only thing they sold is a lamp a lamp nuts i can't fucking breathe <sighs> Shop, they're not buying because they know it's not marketable. People don't want to buy old video games from a pawn shop. I mean, don't we have to do that? Yeah. Pawn shop, uh, people online. They, they, believe me, they could have had a little outside garage sale and would have made something. If it's half price or less. A lot of that stuff was barely used. Oh, yeah, you can sell all your stuff in three days on eBay. I know. Just shut up and go in your room and we're going to figure it out. Yo, did you just tell him to shut up? Hold on. Just shut up and go in your room. Yeah, what an, what an asshole, Rev. Yo, Rev, Rev, fuck you. I hope you're having a great Memorial Day, Rev. You, you child abuse asshole. I know. And he, he look, he's like, you could sell it on eBay, you riffraff idiot. You're not my dad. Shut up. Your stupid hair. Your dumb fucking hat. Just shut up and go in your room. And we're gonna figure it out. What an asshole. And they didn't do anything, folks. They didn't do anything. They sold a lamp. One, one item. One item. Left the rest behind. People went in there to see the, what it looked like. It was disgusting. It was horrible. They didn't try to clean it up at all. Yeah, they had time. Yeah, can you imagine just like people like constantly telling you to shut up, mind your own business, when you are being the voice of reason saying you could sell it on eBay if you don't want to sell it at a pawn shop. You can sell it anonymously. They don't even have to know it's coming from here. They, there's ways to do it. Rev just didn't want to. You know, I don't think uh, those kids understood how lazy Rev was until they saw, you know, him at his lowest point. 
you know, like that old saying, you don't know somebody until you live with them. Well, they, they know Rev. Oh my God. So at least we could get something. Yeah, it's been pretty warm out lately. What about your microphones? Will they sell? No, they What's don't up? take microphones. They don't take gaming monitors. We'll take, ooh, that's, that's the big true. TV. We can't take that with us. I'm not, I can't get that in the car. There's no way. No, they won't take that either. Trust me. I'm telling you. The Kids 22 says, when well, you don't pay for six months, you will be evicted. Common Sense is, is all on at to get donos, and they did, and they definitely did. People sent them money for gas, food, and a hotel to get to PA. Yeah, that is true. That is true. They got they got money the whole time, and in fact, they went to a subscriber's house to uh, smoke with them. What a alleged, you know. And I'm surprised that that person never came forward and talked about their experience uh, having Shani come to their house, kids in the car. Uh, a car filled with stuff and two cats not in a cat carrier in a box plus those two kids and, Sh and Shani and Rev had to pull over to some random house put their kids in danger she don't know these people she knows them like internet people like everyone else it's like she doesn't have no idea what would have happened it's just like the neglect is so real with them there's very select items that pawn shops take <sighs> Very select. If we had contractor tools, they'd take all of them. We could get, the, you could have William help you get that TV yeah. in there. I no. bet. We're taking the TV with us? We'll figure out a way. Yeah. We'll figure out a way to pack that in there. Yeah. We got the cats too and the guinea pig. Yeah, there's three rooms. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, that's so sad. The guinea pig. The guinea pig froze to death, guys. <laughs> and like, I, you know, I don't laugh to be a jerk. I laugh because I laugh when things are scary. <laughs> and that is really scary. Yeah, the guinea pig froze. Um, so, yeah, th those cats could have froze too. Animal abuse. I mean, we're criminals. When we get on that road, we're criminals. I can't do this. What faults do I have other than relying on my husband? I can't do this. Yeah, relying on him. Relying on, on your husband? You're the one. You are the one who asked Rev for his financials for the, to the stock market. You had his money. You had all the power. And you put your thing... is. You put his stocks into bad stocks. You bought bad stocks. I think you guys were also doing Dogecoin and you were doing all that stuff. And don't let me go wrong. A lot of people lost money from uh, cryptocurrencies, but she did bad stock investments. So that I blame to her. Me, a kid that was sheltered his entire life with a mental illness? I know. That's a really bad idea to rely on. You told me I should. Until the money's gone, sure. Well, now we know. <laughs> you told me I should. He just said, I'm a guy that's mental, and I have mental problems, and I was sheltered. <laughs> but you told me. What? It's like, hey, man, I I I'm a, a paranoid schizophrenic. <laughs> uh, when that other guy comes along, uh, make sure that you don't listen to that word he says. Oh, okay. So when is that guy going to come along? What? <laughs> you know, it's like he warned you. <laughs> Stupid ass. But I've been doing my best I can, man. Whatever. I know you are. And you are getting somewhere. I am, man. I'm going to see how much we can get for this. I'll be right back. Wait, one minute. What? Let me, let me talk to you real quick. No. Okay, so if anyone can read lips. <laughs> it's the end of the fucking world, dude. Yeah, it is the end of the world. 
road for us. That's true. She's probably like, oh my God, I'm getting some donations. They don't care. You know, they, they don't care that they're putting those kids in that in this stressful situation. They just but they oh someone gives them five bucks. Oh, we just got a donation. It's it's like weird locale logic, you know. Like you're being evicted, you have a lot of stuff you can sell, but hey, someone just gave you five bucks. Like it doesn't like so <laughs> that's still you're still in the hole. Like I would literally take the EOS camera, the mic, and my laptop. That's it. That's what I would take. Just leave everything else. Fuck it. You said they made a payment agreement. Yeah, I remember that with the property manager in court and broke the agreement, which is why they didn't have to go to court again. They knew the whole time they were being evicted. Yeah, yeah, they made a pay they made an agreement to pay, and Rev didn't pay, and then they were surprised that they were getting kicked out for lack of payment. And usually, it, the first time I think any decent landlord will try to, you know fix the issue with you like oh okay you're a little bit behind but when you try and make an agreement and then ignore it yeah they don't need to bring you to court again what kind of bullshit is that no gotta get vital documents but they're all in one place so that's good yeah i know what stop I'm talking about me how to be a mom a lot of people get in a situation how you doing how where they don't know what to fucking do pay your bills I didn't know. I didn't get no fucking court date or anything. You guys knew before I did. It's because we pay attention. I would have fucking prepared for this shit. I don't know. They could take my fucking mess. I'll just take my fucking makeup and go. You see that? And, and that's why if anyone sees that video that Drag did, which is a great video of their house, they could take my mess. I'll just take my makeup. My Jeffree Star makeup and go. And you know what, Shani, that makeup ain't helping. <laughs> it ain't helping you, by the way. But uh, it, she admits it. It was her mess. The cat shit, the broken stuff, her mess. At least my makeup's fucking packed. That's because it's in fucking a Fucking hell. Yeah, you see her face. What the hell was that all about? Look at this. She's like morphing. <laughs> what is happening? Okay. Man, seriously, like, there needs to be a law put in place or something. If you want a YouTube channel, you're not allowed to stress out your children for clout and views and donations that, sh that should be a friggin' law because you know she wanted to do a big song and dance a big performance art performance she could have done this quietly in the bedroom but downstairs and like where she is she was like in this hallway so and the kids were right there they could hear her screaming i didn't know i was being evicted do you get that? I did not know I was being evicted. We had a deal with this fucking apartment complex. And they fucking just put a notice on our fucking door. Folks, I'm telling you, this was the straw that broke them. They never, ever recovered from this. They never, ever. They ran to, you know, the uncle's house, to the G-man's house, to uh, that motel, back to the uncle's. They never, ever were able to recover, get some decent money coming in where they didn't have to worry about begging. This was the beginning of the end for them. <sighs> Thank you.
<sighs> so, we paid the last of our money to the fucking rent. And all the other fucking bills. <sighs> it sucks so hard. Then why did he take you out then? If, if you paid. If you paid, he wouldn't have kicked you out. If you paid at least one of those months, you owed back rent. I get that, but you could have said, here, here's this towards it. So I don't believe that. I don't believe that she I don't believe that she paid or rev paid anything towards the rent. They just that's it, you know, let it go into rears. It sucks so hard, man. I hate this for the kids too, but they'll be okay. Oh, loving and caring says here in Colorado, you get three chances for court after a broken payment agreement. Sheriff come into your house. It's done completely. Okay. So three chances. I, I figure she had the, you know, three strikes. She had, she makes it seem, she has to always make it seem more pathetic than it is. Like, oh my God, I just, we have made an agreement. And then the next day, um, it's up there, but oh, I, I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? Uh, but the trolls knew. Yeah, how do you think they knew? Again, because we pay attention. Well, I answer in for social services because I literally said I don't want their fucking help. Well, then there you go. <laughs> Again, how is that working out for you these days? So, and for anybody that's like, why doesn't she just, you know, go get some state help? Go to the town hall. Go do this. Go do that. It's because she doesn't want to. She's too narcissistic and proud. You know, again, how's that narcissism going for you these days? You know, I don't get it. It's it's okay. That's what these programs are in place for, to help you out if you're struggling. Who knows? Maybe you could have gotten some state help for a year, two years max, and then that whole time saved up some money, and then you wouldn't have needed it anymore. Or when the help was done, because they only gave you a few years, then you would have had your own money to keep, you know, keep the thing, keep it going. Shit, she could have, her and Rev, it could have been a one bedroom, like a cheap one bedroom in PA. <sighs> PA's rent, one bedroom is cheap, by the way. Like $600 a month. This could be a blessing in disguise. Try to keep an open heart, mind and heart. I will. I will. I ain't moving in with my parents. Are you fucking nuts so they can fucking abuse me some more and lie about me more? No, wow. I don't think so. I'd rather fucking die. Wow. I am trying to keep it together for the boys. It's hard. Oh, thank you. Thank you um, for the uh, cash app. That, that certainly does help because I just... I just bought a, uh, uh, I don't know if you heard me earlier, I bought a grill today with my cash app money. And I was grilling up some burgers for uh, Memorial Day. So thank you, because I get to put some of that back into, into, the, into the pot I took out of. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Shut up, Wilson. They're not little kids. They're teenagers. All right, but still, 13 is still a little kid. G give me a break. They're teenagers. And, call and telling them to shut up because they're the voice of reason because your boyfriend doesn't want to s sell his games, his precious games that he just left behind for no reason. I, I don't know why she doesn't see that. You know, it, it, and that's probably why she let stuff like shut up to her kid go. But then when worse stuff came out of his mouth, she was surprised. 
I don't know. When you tell a kid to shut up, I think that's a little a little much. But again, in my opinion, if you let that go, you know, worse things will be said later on. Yeah, right. The warts are My mom her. didn't pass. What are you talking about? My mom passed. Don't put that on me. What do you mean my mom passed? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to bring her up just a little bit. But can you imagine not having a rela no, no relationship with your parents where a troll on the internet has to tell you something before you know it? Yeah, don't, don't be like that. Yes. What are you talking about? My mom was in the hospice. <laughs> 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 Oh, and she did know that her mom was in hospice care because she said that her mom's friend, whatever, reached out to her on Facebook asking them, pleading with her to, you know, make good with her mom before her mom, you know, would pass on because she was in hospice care. She knew from her mom's friend, but she didn't reach out. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know. To me, this just seems like more performance at more, more feel bad for me. I didn't even know my mom passed. I bet I bet she did. Come on. Come on. How dense do you have to be? We already knew that she was talking to her mom's friends on Facebook. No one, no one reached out to her. I don't believe that. It was from the sheriff. <laughs> I didn't know she wasn't doing well. I don't talk to my family. <laughs> yeah, uh, hold on, let me sh Yeah, let me show you that. <laughs> Why would they call talk to me? Why would they tell it to me? Why they would they did. say a fucking troll on the internet? Not their own <laughs> but yeah, for anyone new coming in, um, the, the house is up for sale. And remember, Blue Smurf, that's the mother's house. PP Yellow is the uncle's house. But they were living in the PP Yellow one. Okay? But not no more. You know? <laughs> so I hope that clears that up. But let, let, let's, let, let's, let's, get back to, let's get back to Scammy. Uh, all right, so she kind of went away for a little bit there. <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's nasty. Oh, my, and I call because she, truly she wanted that sweet, sweet dono money. Because this is drama. Because this is feel bad for me. Feel bad. Feel bad. I have to carry around an extra chin. Oh my God. Feel bad for me. I have these warts that I don't even know where they came from. I thought God would touch me. I was his anointed. 
but you're right. To any normal person, like you, you don't talk about that. It's, it's TMI for sure. And you know what, for real, for real, I bet you, I bet the uncle probably wants nothing to do with this house anymore. You know, Rev pushed his hand. Hey, if I sell this thing, then it's done, right? They can't come back. It's sold. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do, man. I, I, I got my own place. I can't help you. I got my own family. I can't help you. House is sold. But who knows? Who knows? Or houses being sold. But like I said, who knows? Rev did own this house. That's that's the kicker. That's the kick in the balls to Rev again. Rev gets kicked in the balls a lot, folks. But that's the kick in the balls again. He owned this house and the blue one that was G-Man's. Maybe, who knows? Maybe uh, the uncle will give him some money. Ten, th ten grand in pity money. You know? But I'm sure it's going to be, here's 10 grand, you know, like, a, like us Italians say, here's 10 grand and I'm done with you type of money. Here, here we go. It's okay, Zach. We'll be okay, honey. I promise you, we're gonna be okay, honey. Yeah, stressing out the kids. Okay. What a great we mom. Promise. What a great mom. Mother of the year. Feel bad for me, kids. everything he's being fucking dumb i can't keep anything i can't even keep my fucking but yeah but for everyone just coming in that is also the uh you know co confirmation 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 they are 
definitely out, like I said last time, because if anyone knows anything about selling a home, you need a couple of days to make sure that home is clean. You need to get the cigarette smoke out. You need to paint that. I'm sure he had to paint again because they were smoking. They were smoking in the house. Right? I mean, Rev used to make videos where he was smoking in the car or outside, but he stopped doing that. And when Shani like realized that she was losing everything, she was just smoking inside. Sanity. Oh, good night, April. I'll see you. I will see you. I hope it's not too hot there. <laughs> You know, it's probably a hard situation for real because I'm sure he wants to help, but he's helped them so, you know, he's helped them so much already. You know what I mean? He can't keep doing it. You know, somebody needs to be an adult around here. And he knows that if he just sells it, he can't bother them anymore to, to live there. And the uncle doesn't have to worry about people calling the cops and no one paying this and that. And the uncle still has to pay taxes on that place. So I'm sure it's just a headache nightmare they just wanted to get rid of. Give me a little bit of money. I'm done with you. I'm telling you. Because why would you want to deal with this? Why would you want to deal with her? You know, she treats everybody the same. You know, her own parents, her, her kids, everyone gets attacked. And I'm sorry, a lot of people don't like the my way or the highway nonsense. <sighs> I'm not deleting comments. What are you talking about, man? We have to be out here by the weekend. Yeah, let's move up a little bit. Be strong, but I've been trying to be strong for so long. I'm working my ass <laughs> off doing these stupid fucking little jobs and stuff. Strong for so long. <laughs> What's the job? I've been job? trying to fucking pay all the bills. Oh. I've been trying to do everything. I thought I was doing good. I thought maybe just one more month and I could get this fucking rent taken care of. Really? One more month? 20 grand? Wow. The delusions of grandeur, folks. <laughs> the delusions are real. I don't have much stuff to pack, guys. I'll be honest. I don't what? like these video games. They're not mine. Oh. They're Jason. Oh, you're gonna pull that nonsense. This is this stuff's not even mine. You know what? That bong that you left there, that was yours. All that all that little paraphernalia on the ground on your side of the bed, that was yours. Uh, the soda cans, all the food in the fridge, that was definitely yours. I mean, make make no, no mistake, folks. Like everybody leaves something behind. Like me. I don't have no friggin' Uh, corn on the cob holders, uh, you know, like those little like pins that that sting you. You stick them on the sides of corn on the cob. I don't know where they went. I had a whole thing of them. Now I had to get more again. I'm like, well, whatever, say la vie. But I forgot them. But th that was like a little, but five dollar, eight dollar corn on the cob set. Big deal. I just have my computer and clothes. That's all I have. I don't have anything else. I wish you would show the turn the camera around. I can't call anyone. I don't have a phone that works. That side of the room where she's sitting at was filled with stuff. Oh, 
Oh, I'm behind a lot. Thousands of dollars. And I paid all the stimulus check to them. Oh, and it would help. No. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Move to the Egyptian crack dead. We have a room of the four mattresses. That's funny. I bet that's real funny now. <laughs> the kids, they have, they, 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 all the kids have is they just wanted electronics. So they have their electronics. And then my son's uh, plushy collection, that's it. And their clothes. They're pretty much all plat packed up anyway. <sighs> uh, they're toys. So I'm not worried about that. It's pretty much all packed up anyway, man. Yeah, okay. Hey, you know, why didn't you guys throw their mattresses away? No one had to see that they were just sleeping on a on a mattress with, with no cover, no blanket on it on the floor. They didn't even have no bedding. They didn't have a, a, a bed, like a frame, nothing. My makeup's all fucking packed up. I don't want my friend to talk to anymore. Man, she really forgot about her uh, mom dead, right? I was just saying. Back to like, oh, my friend. Jason I'm... right now is pawning some things. No, he's not. He's probably smoking. No, and Jason. We have been doing that, Thorn King, Queen. They just did this. Don't throw away anything else. I don't have a PayPal, but I could give you my account number and routing number. So you've been packing, you just don't know where to go. Oh. That's not true. See, I was, wasn't packing at all. I know, I didn't even get a certified letter with it. I didn't get any fucking warning. Oh, I was looking, folks. I don't know. I can't find it. Hey, Nemesis, Marco, what's up? Friends and Shanny don't have friends. Yeah. No, she has people she uses. What's up? How you doing? I was trying to find, though. I was trying to find uh, that video where 
you you, you go to uh, it's somewhere where you you walk around Shani's side of the bed. She had a she had stuff you you couldn't walk. I, I you know knowing her that she's so big and bulbous, I'm surprised she was able to wail herself over to her side of the bed because there's soda cans, there's you know twelve pack uh, cardboard boxes, there's a bong with water in it still. Like it was disgusting. They just left it. They could have done something about that for sure. And people will people will go to your house for free and to, you know, like it works something out with you. Like they'll sell it and give you a percentage. But yeah, this is, like I said, this was their beginning of the end. Never recovered from this. And anyone new coming in, once again, let me show you. The house is up for sale. 188 grand. Will they get that? I mean, who knows? In this market, market's going a little low these days. But see, now it's for sale. Because of course it is. Guys, you can't just sell it right away. You got to get that shanty stank out of that house first. I don't know. No, we're already evicted. I just need a place for my family. It will get better. God always has a plan. <laughs> Man, think about that. Hey, people that hated them were like, yo, it'll get better. Just chill out. So even then, her manipulation was working, just not to the way she thought. Instead of her getting money, people were just trying to be like, yo, chill out. It's, you know, focus on, you know, making your, having your kids not freak out because you're scaring them right now. I don't have a cash app, or I do have a cash app, but the PayPal, I can send you my route in an account number. That's See? all I can send. It's all about, oh, on, give me money. He just told us. Yeah, Mrs. Markle says, they knew, she knew they did this to themselves and literally did nothing to help themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag can't relate. I know. And, and even if I, you know, I'd be like, yeah, I, <laughs> I did this, you know, like I made a mistake. She's still repulsive. She is. Yeah, she definitely, she definitely is. <laughs> oh, that's, that's her. I need money voice, you know, <laughs> the baby voice. I think it's one of her personalities. But yeah, she. I agree. I agree with you, hundred, one hundred percent. She def. She did that to herself when she made the agreement. Okay, we're gonna pay you now. We owe you six months' rent, three grand a month. We're gonna pay you some of this money now, and did it, and then got surprised that the pink slip was at their door. I don't have family. I don't have any family. It's just me and the kids. Well, and Jason, but whatever. My kids don't watch my streams. Ah, I found it. I found it, folks. I found it. Under Shani and Rip house, house tour. <laughs> People are so creative. I love it. All right. All right. Real quick. So, 
basically, here's one end of the that's Shani's side, and that's Rev's side. He goes over, like, look, look how much stuff is still left there. Radio, a guitar, a fridge, microwave, because they were cooking in there. Because you know they're just classy people. That stupid water bottle. All this stuff. I mean, Rev's not so bad. His side. At least he had a garbage can. But, like, look at that TV uh, air cleaner that probably was filled with, uh, you know. Ugh. What? How? How was she walking over there, folks? How? Yo, <laughs> Yo what's this bra doing here? I think that was a mistake. <laughs> of course, Shani left that behind. <laughs> Oh, look, diet soda, <laughs> keto. <laughs> she didn't eat that. More cans of soda. What a pig. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Nasty. Yo, cereal bowl. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> cereal bowl to spoon. Spoon's like, kill me, kill me. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look at the bathroom, man. Ew. So gross, folks. Oh, my God. There's spice rack. Yes, because it's normal to have a spice rack in a bathroom. So, yeah. Shower, bathtub, barely, barely was used. Only time they used it was when they were, like, making uh, OnlyFans. Ew. <laughs> Swiss rolls. <laughs> ew. Ew. Like, you know, you get there's just a certain type of nasty. You know what I mean? Where like this is like, okay, we can just leave it like that. Yeah, they can have our garbage. Scumbag people, man. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh the go oh, the closet. I mean, it looks like a, it'd be a nice place if they didn't have a bunch of garbage everywhere. They were just left behind. <laughs> Broken stuff. Like, what did what 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 Shane try to sit on the, on, on the hanger? Like, what, what the hell happened over there? <laughs> she probably like threw Rev in there or something. All this stuff just left behind. So, yeah. Just, you know, in case anyone has never seen those before, those that's crazy. That's a crazy video. Thank you, Billy Ann. Thank you. I don't have a PayPal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That time. Yeah, bugs, bugs definitely love to be, you know, living in, you know, and stuff like that. How about hundred? Where's Rev? Uh, well, there. I'm not. Uh, I, I can't say <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> I may or may not confirm or deny know some things, but I want to keep it on the uh, on the up and up for now. But uh, like I said, I'll just confirm with one hundred percent that uh, the house is up for sale now for one hundred eighty eight thousand one hundred dollars. Hopefully, only Rev gets the one hundred dollars. I live in Westminster.
But yeah, I, I wonder what's going to happen in the coming days. I'll just say. Be some interesting things. Hey, hey at least they, they have a lot less stuff now than they did, you know, here. And they never try to get a job, neither one of them. I think if they did, they could have kind of recovered, especially when the, when the boys left. It was just the two of them. There's no reason why just the two of them couldn't have gotten a one-bedroom apartment. I don't see any reason why that couldn't have happened. Where they didn't have to sit there and beg his uncle or beg G-Man. There was no need, need for that. Be on TV because they're in a condemned motel all that funny stuff if you guys never seen that that is definitely on the channel you should go uh check out i have I a wonder whole... if he hit all the notices from me simply krista oh oh rev hit all the notices oh, oh, oh. <laughs> i love that i, I love i love that uh deflection he must have hit the notices it's all rev's fault dude the guy you went to his house shanny you went there knowing that he was mental. You didn't care. He had money and a couple of houses to his name. What are you talking about? He didn't come to you. He was picking up your kids, bringing them to school every day. What are you talking about? I can't make any calls. I don't have a phone that works. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> All right, well, let me bring her up because she's. I love when she just stares intently into the camera. Oh, man. Her snot bubble is just grossing me out right now. Just, 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 just get a tissue, Shane. Come on. Tissue. Please. Tissue. <laughs> Oh, I can't stop staring at it now. Great. We may be going back to that house in Pennsylvania. I don't know what Jason is doing. He's on the phone with his own. Oh, ha, ha, can we uh, stay at your house? <laughs> that That's what he was doing. He wasn't trying to sell anything. But yeah, where can they go? They can't get far. I'm sure. I don't know. I don't know. I, I hear things. I'm sure they're still in the immediate vicinity of that area. I'll just say that. I don't know what's going on. Right? I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, after all this, this is when the, oh, I have MS, I have cancer. I mean, she was always saying that, like, for, you know, to feel bad for her. But then it was like, I have this, now I need money. And it's like, whoa, <laughs> not good, not good. You know, bad karma and all that. So, yeah, I, I'm glad that she realized that you can't just say that without consequences, of course. Ugh. For the love of God, I gotta taste you. Ew. Ew, I found you found out my mom's oh. in the hospice. Ew. How can you not know? <laughs> what what is this? <laughs>
gross. Shane, this is God. Yeah. You knew. Stop lying. You're lying to your viewers. Yo, yeah, man, even even God's getting annoyed. He's like, what the? <laughs> like, for real. Oh, I didn't know. And my mom said something. What? I don't know, my mom. Didn't tell. Like, again, I don't, I don't know why how CPS or whatever you want to call them, why they didn't say, if you don't know that you're six months in back rent and you still have you try to work something out, you still haven't paid anything toward that, and you don't know that your mom's in the hospice care, even though her friend Facebook uh, messaged you this information, if you don't know any of that stuff, then I don't think – you should be taking care of your kids right now because, hell, you may not know if they're allergic to something or maybe you forgot if they have a peanut allergy. Like, there, There's a lot to know, you know, when, 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 when taking care of kids. I'm just surprised they didn't say, hey, with this narrative, how do we know that uh, you don't know anything? You know, maybe your kid doesn't want to eat this. Tell me what. We're almost done here. Oh, she's gonna it's gonna come on the camera. Oh, oh. <laughs> can't watch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fine. Right in her hair. Right, Jennifer. It's like get a tissue. She always does this. Yes, Lynn. I know. She feel sure like learned. a real man when I'm kicking kids. <laughs> Loving know, and maybe. caring has just feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. Chat. I don't know. Maybe. Honestly, feel like CPS a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. We feel like a real man. Thank <laughs> you, know, it's, you know, it's, I, I I appreciate that. Um, loving and caring for the two dollars. <laughs> that yeah, Colorado CPS, Pennsylvania CPS. It's just it's horrible. Oh, you're from Australia. Well, that's right, Jennifer. Well, what's up? Thanks for hanging out from down under. hope you're having a nice day or evening and i don't know if it's day or night over there i guess it'd be daytime but i, I always still get a kick out of that like wow i'm talking to people halfway across the country and we're bonding over looking at this child abuser oh i don't have any jewelry that's made of any real silver or gold i'm not like that not like what normal Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm going to feel sick. Like, for real. <laughs> I got to stop thinking about it. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, that scared me. Nemesis just... <laughs> Marple has just donated four pounds and 99 pence through Super Chat. Which one to make Shani Twitch? Tears of joy. <laughs> what you want to make sure? <laughs> Thank you, Nemesis, for the 499. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Guys, please like. And yes, I. I William's thank you. a great kid, man. And you know, it's that's the one thing I always like. You know, the kids. That's the only thing this, this whole thing was ever about. If it was just Shani and Rev, just them, like, you know, fr from the beginning, yeah, sure, I would have laughed at them, but uh, it wouldn't have been so traumatic for me to realize that these kids are hearing everything that they're saying to people, all the racist stuff, all the 
OnlyFans videos that they were doing and getting high in that room. Everything that they were doing, those kids were in earshot of it. Don't worry about rent. You should get yourself some weed. You deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's My kids aren't troll. yelling or crying. What are you talking about? They're talking to each other in their rooms. They were just. Uh, uh, crying. Well, the younger one was uh, really upset. Your older one said, "Here, how we buy, uh, sell his stuff on eBay." And Riv told him to shut up. What are you talking about? It's like she doesn't live in reality, folks. She doesn't realize Stop the events making that shit up, psycho. Yes, yeah, psycho. Don't you understand? I I'm trying to beg for money here. Like, stop bringing up real reality. What a crazy person. I bet you Rev was on the phone with the uncle, maybe even G-Man, trying to figure something out. They're okay. <laughs> it's 2 p.m. You wow. can move the bed to fucking get under it. What? Why don't you go help them instead of just yell something? And you know what, Shani? If you can speak that softly and they can hear you, then that means that those kids can hear you. Fuck, oh, man. You know, like my 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 jokes and my fun stuff I do here. My kids are not privy to any of that because it's just not kid material not kid friendly you know what i mean and i make sure that everybody's you know asleep or a, you know far away doing their own thing because you know you have to separate the two all the time the fact that she just had the damn door open talking about them you, you know like a, what a stigma that probably made for them dad's back Yeah, the little one is calm. <sighs> What's up? How much did you make for the VR? Nothing. Nothing? You didn't <laughs> sell it. They wouldn't give you anything for the VR. No. Really? Yes. Nothing. Are they get taking anything anymore? Rings. <laughs> rings and more rings and watches. Shit like that. That's what they'll take. But the VR. Nope. We should open up a Facebook marketplace then. Yeah, that would have been Take all smart. our electronics and our... And try to fit it in the car. Yeah, I'm just surprised that none of them said, hey, how about I rent a truck and you follow me? Wow, what an idea. Even a small truck. You know, is that such a crazy concept to them? Nuts, folks. Don't be like this, please. You know, when people, when new people watch this stuff, I call it the shanty effect. They start to make sure their house is cleaner hug their kid more, encourage them more, you know, make sure you say I love you to your, your parents if they're, you know, even a phone call away. I call it the Shandy effect. You realize, you realize how precious life is and how you could be like this and squander it. Maybe it did too much for me because ever since I've been watching her, I've, been, I've turned into this huge neat freak. But you know what, maybe that's not a bad thing. Oh my god. 
Oh yeah, so let me let me show that let me show that one more time. Uh, but yes, they are gone. Like I said in that video previously, which people found hard to believe, um, it was told to me through a uh, realtor. I'll say yes, a realtor that the house was you know. Houses go up for sale, like pre go up for sale before they it's, you know, like for sale on like a realtor.com or like the general public. So I knew about it. And that's why I was saying they're gone. And people were like, they're not gone. What kind of lies is this? Who is this draven guy? He don't know shit. Ugh, fuck him. <laughs> it's like, well, okay. <laughs> whatever difference of opinion and then now everyone's like oh they're gone like yeah it, it takes a second to um you know they were not in that house anymore and it takes a little bit to paint and get the shanty stink out and get the cigarette smell out and all the other stuff but yes the house is up for sale hundred eighty eight thousand and one hundred dollars just for rent so he can start his new life <laughs> Hmm. Well, you know what? That could mean that could mean that uh that could mean that uh someone is bought it. I don't know. I heard about it for a, it was told I'm to me not about going to find another Oh, sorry. It it was told to me about a little a little bit ago that they're gone, house is for sale. And then I saw something and then it was like, oh, okay, that they're whatever you call it, because the uh, the the uncle doesn't want to deal with it. And if you look in that picture, the um, what do you call it? The, the the car that Rev had still was in there. You know, I know that certain inspections happen, and possibly, you know, they had. He didn't want them to leave the general vicinity of that main area that Shannon and Rev were in. So who knows what could have happened between now and then. I know that carpet was falling apart. Hopefully they changed that carpet. Feeder, I'm staying with my husband, Psycho. I wasn't, I'm not even into big shit. BBWs, I'm not no. even into that. No. They said another feeder. I'm not a feeder. I don't, no. I'm not even into big chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into big chicks. Uh, uh, um, uh, okay. I love <laughs> you, baby. Can Could I you please get off of there so that we can please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to like <laughs> people are giving me money. They're helping, man. I just like. All right, let's go on Stoner Shanty or something. I don't I, like. One minute, guys. I I'll be. Stoner Shanty was his other her other channel. One minute. I need to talk to him real quick. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> no, I'm not into big chicks. Like, okay. Uh. Yeah, getting a job's really going to help me right now, isn't it? When I have nowhere to live and don't know where it is. She, she could have done something online, that's for sure. Yeah, all the things you tell us that to apply for, we already applied for and got denied for it. Yeah, we applied for it. God, you're telling us shit we don't fucking know. Or we already fucking know. And we've already done that shit. But no, it's like the same shit. See, they're not helping themselves. What do you mean? Get off the Meaning you're not. You're not you refuse to sell anything. I didn't you know, you refuse to try to sell it on eBay. You you just left all that stuff behind. And you're blaming other people. You had time. You had months to um, 
work something out with the landlord. You knew this was coming. I, I don't know what you don't understand. I spend my money on junk and food. Danny, get off of there now. No, oh, Rev's being Enough. authoritarian. Let's chill out, and if you want to come back, we can. And then okay. they're saying that I'm lying, and that you're gonna leave you're not me. Not gonna stop. They're saying you you're need gonna... to get off of there. Do you hear me? Oh, and that, and then that was it, and that was Rev. <laughs> Guys, thank you for hanging out tonight. This was fun. You know, it's always fun up in here. I do appreciate it. I appreciate you. And thank you. And like I said, thank you for everybody who has sent the cash app for this uh, past month. You know, I was able to go to start grilling after 20 years of not. But I actually did it for the, the right way. So I thank you for that. Helping a family along, you know. But that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you all have fun. Uh, be kind to yourselves and each other, you know. Let's coexist. Let's just have fun, you know. Let's, you know, don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> but you know what? I'll be in Discord for a little bit. So if anybody wants to pop in, that's fine. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good night. And what's up, replay crew? And that's it. Please like on your way out. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.